Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you a new update regarding everything you need to know exclusively from Giga Berlin. There's new information out and we will look into that right now. And if you're new and you don't want to miss any German updates from Germany exclusively with very good news, then do consider subscribing to my channel. So first of all, we will look into a different topic because the Tesla made the service subscription for free. Yes, now the service is for free that is based on the subscription model and the updates we are seeing here from the subscription package so very good news i take that definitely after all the price increases when it comes to supercharger and cars it is definitely a good news but it seems to be too good to be true to be honest with you so i hope don't hope um that this is a mistake so i'm very um yeah very glad to see that there's something at least getting um, a decrease in price. Then we have updates from Germany and we will look into that. Those are Model Y performance in black. But what's happening actually in Grünheide in the factory? So first of all, five weeks ago, we had this issue with the paint shop and I got information now out um, from Giga Berlin that it was actually a car that fell inside the bath um, where the paint is happening. Uh, so the pre-paint and uh, this is the reason why they had to get all this liquid out and some liquid was going outside that was the news was taking that and um, again it was a big story a lot of people um, hating on Tesla but nothing went into the groundwater it was just a mistake happening inside they had to stop the production um, for a short period of time um, but again now they fixed the issue why the car actually fell down into this bath and this is not going to happen right now anymore since then. Um, then we are looking into the deliveries um, because currently Tesla is not exporting. They are just doing the European market. But now there's new news. They are actually going to start preparing for a new version of the Tesla Model Y, which is um, for the markets of UK and Australia, because now you have um, the steering wheel on the left side but they do as well right hand the right side market right now so for the uk they're gonna really soon start to export for the um, uk market and they're also going to use ships that are moving from china to europe that then move to australia for with other cars on the ship of course um, they will use those ships to export Model Y performance to Australia, even though it's not even um, being uh, able to be ordered in Australia, but they might do that very soon. So they export from Grünheide to Australia and to the UK. So everybody waiting for Model Y performance, you might be lucky soon, even though we have to stay cautious as the production rate is still very low. Um, there's new news as well that we have 500 more employees now um, working at the production line since 15th of May. And we also have more batteries coming. I was telling you before that the battery packs, there might be a lag um, because they only had 14 days left. Um, but they got new battery packs in a fast track modus. Um, so it is very good to um, sustain the production rate. But this is where I get cautious. Um, don't expect any big production ramp up um, until this flow of battery packs is um, sure to be happening from Shanghai. This is the only constraint we have right now, the only lack to um, further grow um, because we do need enough battery packs and they actually um, got some more, but not on the container ship way. Um, and then there's actually um, more news as well. There is not going to be a long range variant this year. Um, this is what I mentioned before. The performance variant is in such a high demand um, for the European market, for the UK market, for the Australian market. And you now just realize how big this entire factory is going to be, um, what markets um, Tesla is going to try to um, export to. So it's not only going to be the European market. Furthermore, as I mentioned yesterday, they tend to export in other European countries first and then by the end of the quarter they deliver to German customers. So this is also something um, that is um, getting more and more um, clear here. So you got a lot of news now from Grünheide. Um, we kind of um, had the information of a daily output of around 86 cars per day. Um, so this is also 
um, information we received. It's not as high as we um, expected it to be. It's still five days a week. So that is something you have to keep in mind. But again, I think it is just a question of time till Tesla can ramp up further the production here. Then we have a new building of with 100 store supercharging stations um, in the desert town of Mojave, um, which is between LA and Las Vegas. So we see the superchargers are getting bigger and bigger. And this is also exciting news um, because it is really needed um, that Tesla is expanding it, even though there was a lot of frustration in the past weeks regarding the supercharger prices and the price increase, even though you might guys in the US not see that yet um, too much but compared to the European market. Then if you want to have um, accelerated delivery, um, you can actually check out um, available cars. Um, this might be as well for people around Austin, especially for the Model Y um, performance variant. So there might be a few cars being available. Th this is just a reminder um, for the US market. For the European market, this is pretty much um, yeah, no chance right now because there's pretty much no cars on site. Then we have the FSD Beta V10.12, um, which is out now. We clearly see here improved to the recall and geometric uh, accuracy of all lane predictions by adding 180,000 video clips. This is just getting insane, guys. They are adding so fast material to make AI even smarter, make it even more possible um, to make no mistakes. Then we have improved precision of the is parked attribute, um, solved 48% of failure cases captured by our telemetry of 10.11. So you clearly see there's a lot of points we could go through. I just picked like two out, um, but there's improved here and improved there. And this is going to really show um, some major updates for uh, the driving experience. And this is what it's all about. Um, having a better driving experience. Furthermore, for the European market, there's supposed to come a new update for your maps inside Tesla in the Tesla screen. So you're going to see the maps more accurate. There was a few areas which were not too good yet. Um, so we might see some update coming in the next few days, which is also exciting. Um, as um, we all know that updates like that make the driving experience even better. So I think um, I gave you a lot of information from Grünheide today. I hope you did enjoy that. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, it's a source inside the Grünheide factory and this is something um, I can believe and trust. So um, thank you very much for being here today. I really uh, appreciate your time and um, hope to see you back um, tomorrow or Sunday, um, depending on my current schedule. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.